Oh, yeah, we live now. We live, bitch. You know that ain't my line and reason for the train of thought. You know I had to change the plot to a cage spot. You know that this is flaming hot, girl. I ain't a guy. I ain't really trying to lock you down unless you really want it. That booty better really fun. Ain't gonna be any hot as always. Stretch your chicken. Got me looking right up in your head like it's a 30 in it. Life is like a house, but it don't go with no curtains with it. Don't know what's the problem, man. You ready for these seven letters? You be nervous in it. In the daytime, you don't want to meet with me. Just having a guy. The only way I get the peace is to be the lead. Like a birdie on the windowsill. I'ma get the steal. If I get that intuition feel, I'll be in the field. Like a baseball, about to blow up like a napalm. That's what you know, till it's getting real, baby. Oh, freak out. Oh, girl, what type of time you know? Oh, freak out. Yeah. Girl, what type of time you know? Oh, freak out. Oh, girl, what type of time you know? Oh, freak out. Yeah. Girl, what type of time you know? Oh, freak out. Oh, girl, what type of time you know? Oh, Prayers, y'all flaunt that ass ritual spells rhetoric. We don't hear that ass shit no more. Go to hell, kiss my ass. If you ain't going to see God, bitch, oh, you need God. Yo, flaunt that ass. I need God. Yo, reprobate ass, goddamn flunky ass spirits. Oh, dirty ass, goddamn uh, Donkey Kong nutsack spirits. Oh, no, flaunt that ass. I'll say y'all came from some gorilla in Africa spirit. Y'all flaunt that ass. Hey, shit. I already don't want to get into that. Already. Look, right now, look, we're going to talk about, you no. Know, astrophysicism you know what i'm saying we got some uh some fake puppet right now being used by jesuit intellect to push off some type of masonic rhetoric on everybody about the stars and the galaxies because they getting ready to make a new star trek you know what i'm saying so y'all need to keep that in mind too we'll go get people confused and they can't argue for or against something so we're gonna pull up this guy's videos and stuff like that and show y'all how fake this is now look check this out i'm gonna show y'all from the the most purest degree how you could look at it as witchcraft and things of that nature, because we don't want to get lost. We want to ask real questions and we ain't trying to ask the questions based upon what they're forcing us to already believe. We want to ask the questions based on the things that's coming to the conclusions of things. So therefore ain't no pseudo being kicked in. Ain't no, you're not a PhD. You're not a college career. And none of that, none of that could be used with God knowledge and just common sense. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have to, we're going to have to state that claim. So before we even get into bringing this guy's videos up and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit y'all motherfuckers need to understand. Now, look, Pete Gang, this how you know when you're getting rocked to sleep by a puppet and you can sit back. And if you do any research on the puppet, how you could decipher if they know what they're doing or not, or they're just doing what they're doing, just being used as a vessel. But the reason why they're accumulating and manifesting and materializing is due to the fact of their stand on par of being a sheep. 
based upon a curriculum. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, all of our education systems is built by Jesuit intellect. And it's all focused on Masonic art, what came up in a Mason's mind. Anytime you hear a movie talking about aliens invading somewhere else or something, these are all Masonic ideas about how they are invading the world with their art. And then you have Jewish literature, basically the spiritual influence on these things to make a speculative concept in an operative manufacturing system where you could come up with a mentality about something in front of us that's an actual object. And the more that you play that characteristic out in some way, shape or form, it, help, it helps you create a vision or a concept or a worldview you can live by when you're in a circumstance that that mental object is needed that we can see it play out in the physical world. For an example, you will see a fence. A fence separate your yard from the neighbor's yard. But if you were speaking into Masonic speculative allegory, a fence wouldn't be considered an actual fence. It would be considered a fence that you create mentally as magical thinking like Mormons and Christians. And to separate yourself from a previous thought you no longer want to be because the grass is greener on the other side as far as that imagination that seemed more prosperous than the, than the dusty Joe Cloud desert land that you was previously on mentally. So you would create a fence and that fence would be like a mental allegory and you, uh, of you not hopping the fence on that other side anymore. So it would be a concept or a philosophical mind jogging of you coming up with ideas in your mind on how to build that fence real high so it'll play out in your one, two, and third dimension as anytime you're going to a, going through a situation that remind you of a previous yard you was in, you will use that fence as a mental allegory, as a third dimensional concept to prevent you from experiencing something you don't want to experience previously. So it's not even technically a fence. So when you understand this kind of concept, this is how they're writing the Bibles. This is how they're, this is how they're doing Disney. This is how they're doing a lot of different things in order to create ways to control your minds when you when you need a mental crutch. So when you get into it from this aspect, right, this is how you're able to filter out who's being used like puppets, like this individual I put in the title and people like Neil Degrassi and who's the individuals actually creating this intellectual property and presenting it and know why they're presenting it. And is it for a personal gain? Is it just to sell a movie or are they just truly convinced that this is their actual hy hypotheses and it's actually true. But when you break down the mech, the mech, the mechanisms and the mechanics of what, if you was to get into that line of reasoning and train of thought, you can tell, you will be able to decipher. They don't even think a lot of this shit is true because a lot of the shit that they're predicating their hypothesis on have yet to be proven. So it's a hypothesis built on another hypothesis and you have a bunch of religious and atheist individual utilizing these arguments as a form of speaking sources or as a form of speaking, since it's peer reviewed or general consensus, you can utilize it to sound intelligent, yet whatever you're saying ain't nothing but a ball of rhetoric that's getting ready to change in the next 15 years. So like I said, now, this is how you're able to spot uh, um, one of these individuals that's being utilized as a puppet on the internet right now. And since the internet have a lot of likes and views being utilized on the motherfucking shit, then you could get blinded by these things into thinking that whatever information they're receiving and conveying is actually the truth on some basis of something. So look, always peep game. Why do the puppets explain it, a.k.a. the telescopes? like they're actually taking pictures when anytime we do any kind of research we know that these telescopes are not actually out there taking pictures like you had a camera to take a picture of your grandmother you know that this is a processing system that's receiving sound waves and they're taking these sound waves and coming up with a mechanism of how to receive the sound waves if it's a large or small one if it's a small one red shift if it's a large if it's a large one blue shift the star still alive and then they create a whole bunch of spectrums in between to represent the transition and call it gas nebulous and shit like that and for the most part these not actually stars themselves then we know that images are fake images are not actually pictures so when it when they describe it like these telescopes actually took a picture you know you're getting rocked to sleep because they're hoping that you are which y'all are sheep because y'all be in these comments like oh i'm having a mental orgasm they're hoping, which they are accomplishing, that you already accept to the terms and conditions that there's things in space already. So your level of belief or non-belief or arguing for or against is already suited in the area that they want you to do that in. So you already lost in some way, shape or form, not even being able to observe anything. And then when someone has some actual knowledge, 
you're ready to use that core, uh, that motherfucking knowledge to go against whatever a person like me is saying, just to keep continuously getting us lost in some way, shape, or form, in things that don't make sense. So for the most part, here's the thing. Anytime they explain it, like it's a picture that you know is false, and they're taking images that they're creating and making pictures out of them, that's why when they zoom in, it's not going within the atmosphere. It just looked like you're zooming into a cropped picture. So you're really not zooming in to anything real if you had a telescope. What, what, what they're showing that zooming in is a computer zoom in and it's zooming in on a picture. Say, say if y'all took a picture of me right here. When you zoom in on it, you're not getting closer into me to the point that you could go in my nose and you could go in my mouth. You're just getting a closer zoom in crop image of that, that same picture. So they confuse y'all into thinking a zoomed in crop picture is them going deeper into space. And that's what they get y'all lost is things of that nature. Because that crop picture is just a, a image that they zooming in on. But if, you, if, if it was actually a telescope zooming in to a distance, you could only go within an atmosphere. You could only go within a light ray. Now, ain't no such thing as creating a, uh, some meadow that can block out if that can block out motherfucking light rays of the, the local stars that quote unquote y'all fake star systems y'all created. And then for the most part, somehow zoom in in a distance and it's not going within atmospheres. Stars are water. So anytime you're going within a form, you're going within an atmosphere. The, the moon ain't no fucking big rock. That's a reflection of an atmosphere. Anytime you're going in something, you're going in an atmosphere where land could be molded and shaped and derived out of that water cycle. That's that's how crystals and gems get conjunct, uh, get fused. Like you, if you listen to them talk about water is life, they'll make you think water traveled somewhere with rocks here already. No, it takes compression, fusion and friction of water to condense land mass that we call sand and rock and particles and things of that nature. How is y'all trying to teach us shit backwards? That's retarded. So y'all just basically trying to get people lost in the water falling on earth. No, earth got shaped, molded, and derived out of water because we still see that event happening to this day. God show you every day. You ain't got to go on Google and be like, that's wrong. And now you you arguing with me with something that you can't argue for or against. Yet in the very next breath, if we're not arguing with this, you're going to know it makes sense that crystals get derived out, out of sea level. You're going to know that land mass and shit split because of sea level. You're going to know that different currents and different atmospheres is highly derived on sea level. So what point did, didn't you know how to convey? Was you in a bias in one and then you see me break them down, convey them, and then you just use one of the bias to hate me to go back in your everyday life when you didn't have to use the bias to see this shit that God trying to show you every day? You see what I'm saying? Now, check this out. Before we even get into the goddamn video on this motherfucking shit. Now, look. Why? Understand you're also getting rocked to sleep too when they start to talk about it like this. Why the further the stars mean is dependent on it being past. That's wrong. All of that's made up. Anytime they start talking about light years, we know light don't travel. So light speed a st and a light being more distant, we know light is a, a based on fusion and friction. And then it produces light. And light don't have a shape of its own. So it's only going to take the shape of the objects visible or non-visible like things like wind for us to perceive it. So their whole concept let you know it's made up. You know what I'm saying? So either someone lying at us or they just don't know and they're trying to prove their hypotheticals. But then when they use their puppets to explain their hypotheticals to the people, they speak as if it's real. Like as, as if an image is a picture. And we know images are, are fake. We have mad images of talking snakes, talk, uh, images of John Kletha thong sandals uh, uh, that some talking donkey uh, person had on was talking to. All kind of, We got a lot of images, but we know images not real. We know images is uh, photographic memory in your motherfucking brain. It's mine. And when you, when you bring an image into this world and create allegories around it, this is the very starting point of the, Illum the Illuminati, getting y'all illuminated into their light so you could be enlightened in some way, shape, or form. And now you're lost in the exoteric, not esoteric. You have allowed the shadow government to do some esoteric shit, go inside, 
with their intuition and their images and then come and create some exoteric shit. And since they run the world, it become college common knowledge because they trained y'all to only respect their way of making their mind more superior. So you need the college curriculum or whatever like that. So they turn esoteric, I mean, e esoteric into exoteric, common knowledge. And now this one, this when exoteric can become very dangerous because in order for you to learn yourself, you need a middleman and they're teaching you about your esoteric energy and that exoteric, you might utilize this to even know about yourself. And this is why they got y'all lost in light. So everything is light, y'all. Atheists follow the light, big bang. Religious people follow the light, their God is the light. They got the whole world lost in light and the light is something that come after the fact, AKA our desires. Once you get a thought and feeling as a fusing of friction that we can't see, but we know that's the energy we use and we it come together and produce a light, a fusion, uh, uh, which is a, uh, which is a, vi a vision. Once you had that vision, that imagination in some way, shape or form, you get lost in that. And, and that's, that's the spiritual context of getting lost into the light. And then they brought that concept that they was lost in trying to learn their spiritual science and then got y'all whole, all, the whole world lost under that system. So y'all all lost by Lucifer, the desire. Once, once the mind come together and create a vision for itself that it don't want to leave. So where the mind go, the body go. Y'all don't want to die with this imagination. Y'all trapped y'all spirit in y'all individual solo spirit, which is the soul. And then y'all, and then y'all body play out the same characteristics, creating technologies of not wanting to die. So this is why the spiritual aspect, y'all created heaven and the, and the physical aspect. Y'all created this technology, y'all physical heaven, but y'all truly all worship the devil. Because it's some shadow government that's getting y'all lost in the light and calling the light different names and titles and things of that nature. And light and they the light bearers because they're bearing the light. They're the spirits bearing, coming up with the intellectual property of those images that y'all worship in y'all mind, but can't prove it. So look, check this out. So why the further, the, and, and then they're trying to use science to prove what religious people think that there ain't. This is why every time a religious person think that they don't want to sound stupid. They use some science. Oh, but look at all the stars. Look at all that. Somebody had to make that. Yeah, your, your shadow government threw satellites up there. The only the only light forms you're seeing is what y'all calling the sun, which is not something on its own. It's an event that's happening. When two high velocity moving objects, which is water cycles, crash and produce that light. And with the light that gets produced, that's what this is made out of. That's what, the, that's what carbon is. That's what with all that energy is that's accumulating to density but for the most part that shape of it ain't that's the shape of us our body of water our atmosphere that's not a shape on its own we're just witnessing we witnessed an event that happened already and light got produced from it now any light that we see in light don't have a shape so if we're within an atmosphere the light we see on a mass level is from our perspective only going to take the shape of our atmosphere so there is no sun out there and then that cast a reflection, which is the moon, which you can only see it when your geographical location of this big body of water rotating to the left from Africa to the eastern continent. I mean, from the eastern continent to Antarctica, when you're facing getting ready to get 180 degree angle separate from it. That, then it's nighttime for your geographical location. So you see the reflection of the of the light that was casted and the reflection and the light that's casted is only taking the shape and form of the objects that fu that fuse together to produce that friction. And since we in one of those objects, a water cycle, that's what stars is. Stars is water. Since we're within one of those objects, right, then for the most part, we're going to see whatever light that happened outside of us take the shape and form of on a mass scale of what we inside of. So that's why the sun and moon is the same shape. And they, they never landed on the moon. The moon ain't no motherfucking rock. Uh, 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 the sun ain't no fucking deity that's moving to the right. You will never be able to explain that. And you will never be able to explain why it's always a lunar eclipse, a uh, 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 full moon, and why it's, already, why it's always a solar eclipse, a uh, goddamn it, uh, new moon, because, uh, going off their aspects of it. When you go on my cosmology aspect of it, it makes the most sense of the world, and they'll never be able to prove it wrong. That's why before they can save face or before they can go ahead and, and, and try to challenge me, they have to do damage control. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm too, they they listen to my videos. I'm too rooted into this. They they, they know they got to come with it in some way, shape, or form. So keep that in mind. Only time something appear to be moving to the right is because we are rotating to the left as a big body of water. You know what I'm saying? So everything is based on our internal cycle. 
know what I'm saying? The moon ain't got shit to do with you females' moon cycles. The, the big body of water we on is, is the cycle we on. Just like your hair and everything. Y'all cycles, based on when you was born, is based upon the water cycle. We're just seeing the reflection. So we're able to add allegories off these things based upon sun and moon. But it's truly just based on the cycle that we are, our body of water. So I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. Now, we know it's impossible to see any light in space. But if we go off their line of reasoning, right, on what stars is that don't exist, we shouldn't ever be able to see past the sun flare in space, no matter what machine we create that could block out something, whether you face it opposite towards the sun. How you, if, if the sun is what they're calling a big hydrogen helium ball that can light up the whole world, I don't give a fuck what machine a human can make to face it opposite to the to the motherfucking sun. It, sh it still should explode. So that lets you know that their explanation of stars is wrong as space is below zero. It's all water, bitch. That's dumb. And then for the most part, that's not emitting light. Uh, uh, I mean, the light itself is not some floating in vacuum or space or whatever like that. The light is an emission we see based upon us being small, seeing a, 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 a an event happen on a mass scale. Light get produced. Light, light is not something already here traveling from place to place like a fucking alien, like how y'all fucking lost in and shit like that. So for the most part, there's no such satellite or anything to that be able to block out any forms of light we don't even observe yet because we within an atmosphere of our water cycle. So that lets you know the only reason we even see in light is because you live within an atmosphere. Ain't no such thing as seeing no light, even if that event is happening. Say you in space and you outside of our atmosphere, right? And you can see, you can witness that event happening. The water cycles crashing to produce that mass scale of light. You still wouldn't see it as light if you was in, outside of this atmosphere. Because it takes the objects within the atmosphere to take the shape and form of what, and produce whatever we're calling light. And the reason why we even see light is because we're small compared to that mass event. See what I'm saying? That's like a little fish that a spirit that was growing... <coughs> that choose to go into the, be born in the bottom of the sea space and created a fish scale in a mind, right? So it's an octopus or something. <coughs> the shit that's happening at the top of the sea when extreme waves happen will be perceived as colors to them, lights to them. But if you was the human on land looking down at the top part of the sea, it's not seen as light to you. When you experience that interaction, you're in a higher dense version of the water transition. And the goldfish that choose to create bodies at the more upper level of the sea, they're not going to see that as light. They're going to see it based upon them being already made out of that transition. You get what I'm saying? So science has got the wrong aspect. But Leah, let's get into this real quick. So they got they got they got everybody lost. Now check this out. Now now listen now this is you about to know it's all kind of rhetoric going on. New updates, new discoveries, and new intriguing images from the James Webb Telescope and missions related. New images. And by the way, if you missed out on the previous updates, all of the videos should be in the description. Now in this particular case, we're going to be focusing on some of the new observations of previous images with new discoveries coming from the telescope in just the last few weeks. Discoveries. And also some really intriguing observations of the same images using other Stop. Telescopes. Stop. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Now you, could, now, you see this is bullshit, right? Out of the actual cosmology, there's no way to make sense out of no telescope taking any kind of picture like it. But we're going to listen to what he's saying. Such as Chandra that allow the scientists to discover new detail and explain some of the things happening around various galaxies and various galactic clusters that were captured a few months ago. Stop. There's no such thing as something being that big we can't see with the naked eye. If, if they only excuse, it's about to be some goddamn bullshit about motherfucking uh, its distance. So we got, we got telescopes that humans can make to go that far. That's bullshit. 
Any event like that should be well around locally too, not just distant, should be locally too. So they create rhetoric that you can't argue for or against by saying time. And the further back it is, mean as in time. That don't even make no sense. If I was born the same time as someone in Africa, that don't mean that person older than me because they was in Africa and they more distant. How, how does that separate based upon us being in different planetary Star Trek concepts? That lets you know that's all made up. It's, it's made up. I don't know if that just started with Ron's older images. Because the first image released by the team last year, the image of the cluster on a Snacks 07. That's the star of Bethlehem. So this is this is just... Jesuits, this is Jesuits trying to play my games on religious people. See, look, this is Star of Bethlehem. And it's the six-pointed star. So it's, it's the space Jews. This is them trying to build the world, esoterically speaking, from the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. So if you're a religious person, you have to use this knowledge. And if you're an atheist, you have to use this knowledge in order for y'all to even argue how they got y'all all lost in that Greek terminology. So it's, this is how they're getting y'all lost. This image right here is fake. This is just like a whole bunch of goddammit pictures of the night sky during one specific day. And then they had to take each picture throughout the year. Of, and then for the most part, they put all smear all these pictures together and then you'll get like a spiral and then they, they make that image small. And now it's a CGI picture. And then they call that a type of star like Beetlejuice or some goddamn shit. But shit, it, they making up the cosmos for y'all. It's like they literally just sitting here making up the cosmos. This ain't out there. It don't even look like that. And so very recently, some scientists from Canada were actually looking at some of the data coming from the instrument developed by the Canadian scientists. The instrument that looks at everything in the near infrared light. Stop. Stop. Look, this is how they get y'all lost too. What's the point of this if those pictures was that clear that they just showed? And why are they explaining it like the telescope is actually taking pictures? We know that it's a machine that receives sound waves and you have to make the images in a computer hardware system. So why why do they keep explaining it like the like the telescope is taking pictures? That's that lets you know you get rocked to sleep. They're they're hoping you already believe something. Pictures that were initially missed by other scientists. Features that resemble extremely dense... And look, stop and just make up any math equation. Look, they just make this... The average person that's on the internet right now arguing and debating is actually taking this kind of shit serious. This, this, is, this is what I get afraid of. Because it's like, how do you tell some of these dumb buttercream ball face heads that this is pure nonsense? What is this, a Christmas tree? Ninth dimension? Energy? Earth? What is this, the Kabbalah tree? This is just purely made up. It's, the, it's literally purely made up. And he up here talking about it like this is a discovery. So how, why are these people being paid to do this? This is what I'm trying to figure out. It's literally made up. You can't argue for or against it. You just got to waste your more tax dollars for them to come up with some more dumb images that don't look any different than the Hubble, tele, the Hubble, the Hubble telescope made up images. None of this shit is out there. They actually named this the Sparkler Galaxy because these kind of resemble tiny sparkles. With a... So they naming it shit just based now it's a sparkle star constellation now. Based upon some shit that's already on Earth. And it's look like a, a, a dick and a pillar column. Their analysis, suggesting that what they're actually seeing in this galaxy is very likely ancient So this this the Jesuits laughing at everybody right now. This phallic religion. Just literally is phatic religion. Literally. This is this is literally phatic religion. It's literally the Jews sitting back somewhere laughing at everybody in the comments, laughing at him, laughing at all these atheists, laughing at all these religious people that believe this. Is it's literally the shadow government who passed down this knowledge, and the people who get it think that they're receiving it like it's something new. And the people that's working is just producing the corporation, the country. But the actual shadow government that's creating this worldview to put it in the text for these scientists and these astrophysicists to study in the first place. These individuals are sitting back laughing. Like these are the individuals that run the world. This, this is complete nonsense. This is phallic religion. This is made up. And they're trying to say it's in space. So it's almost like it's a, it's a play on words. 
You know how people say things like space daddy and, and sucking a space dick? It's like y'all, they fucked y'all minds up early back before they started to get witty with it and, and, and started to make jokes out of it globally. It started off like, oh, since they're going to believe anything then, we're going to make them believe it. So it's almost like with Jesuit intellect, you can see how they're using the Jesus against religious people. But also you can see how they came up with the concept and how they're able to do it to even see it from that perspective. So when they see a person back in the day when people be like, oh, we need God. So the messengers was God through God for the gods was Mesopotamians or the Jews. Right. This is basically saying y'all are sheep because y'all need us to know what, what God wants y'all to do. Right. So they didn't get like start smelling their own ass. So when it comes to phallic religion and shit like that, they could create shit like this. So when they see atheists pull this up to go against religious people, and then when they see religious people use this to say, well, God make that up, they can sit back and laugh and be like, yeah, they sucking, they sucking our, our, our mind dick. We got it, we got the whole world sucking our mental dick. Like they didn't make jokes out of this shit on y'all, like literally. Where you where you think these terms like rhetoric and shit come from? You ain't create the language, so you ain't about to use this language to say that the motherfuckers who created it ain't doing it harder than us. Motherfucker. ...to the previous image from the Hubble, where you basically see nothing. And what's really impressive is that because of the particular gravitational lens... This is crazy. ...the galaxy is actually magnified at least a hundred times, meaning that this is a super distant galaxy with the light from these sparkles taking approximately nine billion years to reach us. And more importantly... How the fuck would they know some take nine billion years to reach us and... Humans, the motherfuckers who calculated that system, don't even know how long their grandma was living. All this seems to be around three billion years after the initial formation. Of how can you calculate anything in three billion years if you haven't experienced a a, a a billion year transition or something? It's not an amount of science that can do it. These niggas is just changing history as they go from the group of motherfuckers that's alive at the moment. Not no motherfuckers back. That's dumb. Universe. During the period that the scientists refer to as the cosmic moon, when the universe had the highest star formation ever, and the period that the scientists today are actually extremely interested in studying. How would they know something that they never experienced in real life was the highest star formation ever? How that is made up. It's like they just making shit up off their hypothetical. You gotta know how to stop that shit. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And what's recording that? Last time I checked. This technology is on Facebook when you can take a picture and with the cell phone and, and, and they go all the way around a room or something like that. That's that, that's some new technology. Who So how, how is they able to use this to say that this is actually something in space? Look, ain't nothing recording that. It's, people don't even question that. What's recording that right there? You, you could only see a scene like this on Star Trek. You could only see a scene like this in Universal Studios movie production team. You could only, you can't, that's, what camera, before he talk about anything being discovered, he need to be talking about what kind of camera is recording this right here and moving that fast in space that it can observe something that's supposed to be way bigger than our earth. This little gas ball is supposed to be trillions and billions of line of feet. What camera you got circling it that fast? What? What camera you got circling at that fast? We don't look. Stop! 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 We look. We don't even got a camera. Them drone cameras that can circle the whole globe that fast. You know what I'm saying? How do we got a? How do we got a telescope in space circling a gas nebula that from a thousand feet farther, a trillion feet away, is circling in a real good time like a Facebook CGI picture? The real good time, real good second time for us to see the whole hemisphere. Stop! No, just stop. Why do you question that? Why do I? That's fake. Everything's all is fake. This is made up shit. Shit made up as hell. And in this case, this right here represents the earliest global clusters ever seen. And because just pick anything. He's said, okay, so this one right here, pick the, yeah, so this one right here, like, you got like, you got about trillions of these. <laughs> we ain't even discovered yet. He just picked one little old dot right here, say, yep, this one was the first one, y'all. This, this one, this one was the first one with the most, sorry, how, how you know, like, 
We just discovered it in 2022. Lord Jesus Christ. This is so bullshit. This, 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 pick any dot. Pick any dot. Oh, where's Waldo? You old ham hock face. Yo, you old, ch- you old cheddar bob kneecap face. Get your fuck out of you old salty happy camper face. Oh, fold out that. Let us just made up pictures. Made up, made up zoomed in images, pixelated pictures. It ain't zoom into no atmosphere. No telescope actually ever zoomed in anywhere. It didn't zoom in and no telescope. It just we just got pictures and we got zoomed in image images pixelated. It ain't nothing zoomed in and no actual em- em- hemisphere or atmosphere. I said it's all made up. <laughs> For for an example, right? Let let's say hypothetically speaking, if these stars exist, and let's say you stayed on one of those stars, and you actually came up with a telescope to look at Earth, right? Now we live on Earth, so this is how God can give you a hypothetical science knowledge, the way to test and prove they bullshit. You already live on Earth, right? So you know. If you was to live on another planet and created a, a, a telescope to zoom in on Earth, you know the more you zoom in, you're going in an atmosphere. You're not going to zoom into no pixelated picture of Earth. And the closer you zoom into the picture, it just looked like the image already a still picture. And you just zoom in closer into the, the image of the picture. No, you know it makes sense that if you had a telescope to zoom in, you're zooming into an atmosphere. Because when you come into our atmosphere, you got the clouds, you got the wind, you got all the way until you come to our lower density level of the water, the sea level, and the earth mass, the malakut that get derived out of it. So when you zooming in, it, it ain't even a concept of you seeing a light from a distance. You're having a telescope. You're going to make the telescope on, on the right hypothesis, the right starting point, the right correspondences, a.k.a. make the lens be able to observe atmospheres and then from a distance, you, ain't no such thing as seeing a light. You just gonna zoom in to within an atmosphere. So that that's another debunking of their cosmos. Ain't no such thing as lights out there. They just making hypotheticals because they see the sun, and the sun ain't something out there. We know light don't got no shape. That light that's a minute is taking a shape and form of our environment. And the only reason you're seeing a light because you're small enough living inside of an environment. They was dumb humans once upon a time. And it was like, they just thought it made sense. Oh, that must be a floating light ball floating. And then made religions off of it, made astrology off of it, made all kind of dumb ass shit off of it. It's, it's really just truly our demiurge. But at the same time, our minds together. But at the same time, motherfuckers has made all kind of shit, all kind of shit out of some shit that that ain't even what it is. No, we're experiencing the after effects of an event. We're taking the after effects of an event and thinking that that's what created the whole world. And that is the world. After a vent crash and produce a fusion of friction, that light is the light. That is the flesh. That is the, that's the death. That ain't got shit to do with God. That ain't got shit to do with existence. Nothing. And y'all didn't predicated your whole existence on that shit. Y'all religions, y'all astrologies, everything. Astrology is water cycles, bitch. And all they did was do anthropomorphized story, stories of each position of the water cycle. So that's how it still makes sense. But they way of making it make sense and throwing satellites up there to, to motherfucking track each water cycle is how they get y'all trapped in calendars and time. So it's as above the, the water cycles as below, making hieroglyphics, calendars and clocks and time cycles and, and symbols and shit like that. And then we understand it's fucking with our mind in some type of way. So we call it spirituality. Have really mysterious origins, and it's actually kind of difficult to explain why it even exists. We'll discuss this in some of the previous videos you may find in the description. For the next discovery coming from the web, we're going to go to another galaxy, another beautiful a- star Another star. galaxy, One made up. Made up. All of this is made up. They didn't go on no atmosphere. So this is this picture right here ain't even nothing out there. They're taking this concept based upon our water cycle, having a cycle, and coming up with anthropomorphized concepts, how we created religion and astrology. This is what science and NASA is doing. This is all fake. <coughs> <coughs> you ain't gonna never see no light in space, all water. And then tell them to prove me wrong. Tell them to go face one of y'all telescopes at the moon, if it's a rock. That's locally, that's within our atmosphere. 
ain't no questions going to be asked. You ain't got to make up no arguments that we can't argue for or against. Argue for or against. Like, oh, we're going to face this satellite opposite towards the sun. And we're going to make sure we create it in a way where it blocked out infrared. For it can only perceive infrared from a distance. Get, get, get your, and then explain it in a way that it's actually taking a picture. Where we know any, any research on what the telescope is actually doing. It's just receiving sound waves. It's not seeing anything out there or taking any picture out there. It's just receiving sound waves. And the stronger the sound waves, the same way we got the shit at the bottom of the sea, we make that, we call that the blue shift. And the more vague it is, you give that the red shift. So you give it the color on your computer system on what it means for a star to be there still, blue. And what it means for a star that died and passed on, red. And then and then you bring that to smear it together with green and purple and all this shit to, to blend it in and call it it's gas nebulous and this is how stars formate. All this, all this lostness. From a, from a lost hypothesis of thinking that the sun is a floating light ball, hydrogen, helium shit, that somehow everything around it is below zero. But well, now I can also see it. Dumb as fuck. And in this case, it looks almost entirely different. Now, this is the second galaxy observed by both the Webb and the Hubble. There is no such thing as clouds in space. The only only way it's going to be a cloud if you stay within that water cycle, within an atmosphere. So it, it has to have the interactions of hitting another water at a water cycle. Because look, the atheists be watching right now and be like, this holly makes no sense. Bitch, how the fuck do rivers and seas separate? Star is this a different name for a bigger body of water. We got stars, oceans, well, stars, rivers, oceans, seas, lily ponds, beach. So if you get into your studies of how rivers and seas separate and how we can have river falls up under seas and things of that nature, that lets you know it's based on density level. So when I tell you it's the same way on a mass level and all of our five seas Moses starting off in the eastern continents as above Aries, as below Africa, and then the whole water cycle rotating to Antarctica uh, as below in the Bible as above Moses drying up at the top of the mountain or whatever the case may be. So it's telling us about our water cycle. All the five seas together within our motherfucking water cycle is rotating to the left. So that's a that's a mass body of water. That's a star. And when it interacts with another star, we get interactions, fuses and frictions. So that produce light, but we it's basically temperature, heat. And that heat, when one group of density level body of water crash with another big ass high velocity cycle of water that we're with there, for the most part, it produce what we call it light or heat. And then for the most part, we just that just produces the many transitions of the same thing, water. And in many different trans transitions is gases, carbons, the, everything we make this flesh and fish scale with. Bitch, the fuck, y'all retarded? And there are going to be at least 18 more in the future. The light itself the is the us, not, case, not light coming here, bringing shit here. Oh, light brings melanin. Oh, light bring. No, the interaction of water crushes and fusion and fricks and that would produce what we call in carbon melanin light photons energy the crashing of water not the light itself being something on its own light wouldn't even be that without the crashing so light on a mass level is like a crystallization on our level of crystals and gems in our body and our blood flow and our dna and stuff like that on a mass level, the crystallizing is us physically being able to see light that manifests, condense, and be the physical things that Earth get derived out of. Water, bitch. Very simple. Do not let NASA or no dumbass religious people tell y'all about creation of life. Because ain't none of them God's children. We God's children. It's also a unique galaxy because it's almost entirely based on forced by on Earth. And by observing this with mid-infrared frequencies with James Webb, we can now pierce through all of this dust. Oh, this is fake. Star formation Stop. Oh, this is fake. I had a point. Let me see where that where my point at. This right here. <coughs> now look. This is how you test people right here. This is how you test if you're getting rocked to sleep by someone with wisdom or someone lost an intellect. And this is how you separate yourself before you a person who watched my videos. To know if you a person who just blinded or you a person that's an actual thinker. Because you might be watching this in all oohs and ahs, right? But check it out. You might be watching this in all oohs and ahs. This was actually a combination of several different images. Now, it's still not entirely clear what we're going to be discovering about all this in the coming months. But the actual mission so far has been extremely successful. And the actual data is already really impressive.
And so that extra data from G oh, here we go. We have to track the asteroid approximately three times faster than it was originally intended to track objects. In other words, the scientists used this opportunity to test the extreme capabilities of the telescope in tracking fast moving objects. Now, stop. I'm not going to say nothing for a few seconds. I'm not. I'm going to play that one more time. And and this is how we separate. Because, look, it's, it's probably a lot of religious people or atheist people, too, watching this right now. And they think they are intelligent. So they're not going to know what I'm doing. I'm going to play that one more time, and I ain't going to say nothing. What if it's going up for the Jeep? Well, this was a particularly challenging mission because of how fast the asteroid was moving across the night skies. It actually had to track the asteroid approximately. Now, look, the average dumb and intellectual person ain't even paying attention, right? They're just listening. Like, wait, what are you talking about? He's talking about an asteroid and he's talking about some clashing or something like that. I, I, these are things we need to know about for our survival on earth, right? This is how you separate them. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Miss universe. You said I would love for you to come to Lakeville, Florida and teach or me, uh, come to you. Don't know how to make a uh, spiritual, uh, here. Oh, shit, dude, I'm coming down that way, uh, goddamn in the next week or so on this motherfucking shit. That's where I'm on my way to doing a goddamn, um, fashion show and a goddamn video down in the South area in this motherfucking shit. So I make sure I keep that name in mind, Miss Universe. Real shit. And, uh, inbox me on, um, IG or, or Archangel Uriel 108 at gmail.com. And I appreciate the donation from the bottom of my heart. Now, look, check this out, right? This now people not asking the real questions, right? They sitting there just thinking, oh, he talking about asteroids. But look, if he was smart, if he was really somebody that was supposed to be teaching us or something like that, right? Why he not teaching us what's recording this? This was a particularly challenging mission because of how fast the asteroid was moving across the night sky. Stop. Why he not teaching us which what what telescope or what camera is recording this right here? What, what is this? You ain't gonna see nobody on the comment section asking him. And, and put in that time step. Yet, if you got people like me on the internet trying to talk about something, you will see all kind of time stamps about dumb shit like, what about this, what about that? But people don't question about the real shit on here. What, who on earth, what telescope we got recording that? He not even talking about that. He talking about an asteroid. But he had to put this video together, right? When, I, when I'm on live and stuff like that, I'm the one who has to put the video. So I'm well aware of everything I put. Just like Noriega. He tried to sit up there and say that he ain't know what Kanye West was saying, whatever like that. Wait, y'all heard everything he said before y'all put it up there. And y'all look stupid from taking it down anyway. But y'all knew everything he said before he put it up there. So homie right here, get this picture. He ain't sitting in. Look, because look, I'm an Aries too. And I'm Archangel Uriel. And Terry's Moon. Leo send it 6 a.m., 2 p.m., 10 p.m. So I deal with morality. I deal with the personal star, your own mind. Before I will allow him to rock other people to sleep in his comment section, I want to question him. Do he not sit down before he edit his video and question where did he get this image from that I'm getting ready to talk about? Because I know I would. Let's say if I'm getting paid or something like that from NASA or whatever like that, right? And I, I get some images to help me describe something. I might think I'm smart, the smartest person in the world, but that ain't got nothing to do with wisdom. Wisdom is, why wouldn't I question, where, where did y'all get this from? Why would I show this to my audience? My audience might be asking me, what's recording this? Because we, I'm talking real good about satellites and telescope. What, what y'all, can y'all give me something to explain? Uh, uh, what's this and what's recording that? Because that's like, this like in like, like 1080p and it's like recording the satellite in question that we threw up there and we why we need the satellite and we just don't and we just don't use this that's recording the satellite in question that's taking these pictures like in telescope like 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 you got to question the whole boy at this point he edited this video didn't he and we supposed to be respecting him he got like a, a million subscribers so when i look at the comments i just see it as sheep i see it as people who don't know how to think and i see it as just a whole bunch of people that's just ready to attack me as soon as I get in a position. For the Jeep Club, this was a particularly challenging mission because of how fast the asteroid was moving across the night skies. It actually had to track the asteroid approximately three What the fuck? Look, look, look. Look, look, look at Earth, y'all. Look, they got Earth back there, y'all. <laughs> look, at they got Earth back there in the back shot throwing up the deuces. How you got Earth in the back chucking up the deuces? We don't need no satellites there. 
We don't need no telescopes. So we see where our tax dollars went. It went to some cameras, some secret cameras that could re record other space galaxies going to the universe, make every other star around it dark. It ain't got no light rays in this picture, no no light helium balls, no nothing, no nebulas, no nothing. There's a good neck, naked eye, good shot picture with a good photo uh, 1080p camera cannon, Nikon. Uh, it, it, it ain't got Earth in the background, background chucking up the deuces. You got Earth photo bombing. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, you got Earth photo ah! Ah, ah, ah. I said, fuck the sun. Let's get a picture. We don't want the sun. They move the sun out the way. They're like, we don't, we don't need the sun. We don't need Mercury. Y'all get out the way. They, they, they told Earth to get out the way, but Earth was like, nah, I need, I want to get in this shot too. I want to get in this shot too. I ain't never seen that camera before. Y'all said it's so fruit by that shit. He, look, he ain't about to say nothing about it though. He, he ain't about to say nothing about it. Yeah, what's the sense said nothing about it. He said nothing about it. Oh, here go another another made up image right here. Some made up shit. Oh, this is on a computer. This don't make no goddamn sense. And they trying to convince us like this in goddamn space. Now they about look. They about to get us lost in uh, King David right now. Look, 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 never look, King David, never look. <coughs> this is a monad. <coughs> this is a made up shit. <coughs> oh shit! Hey, hey, he think he's sounding real good. Let's shut your shut your cartwheel chin line face ass up. Look, he got a cartwheel chin line. He got a Jesus chakra wheel chin line. Look at his chin line. He got a, he got a pilgrim borderline chin line. He got an under, under railroad track rail, uh, chin line. Let us chill line. He got a Homer Simpson head chin line. Oh, float that ass out of here. You can't teach shit. You can't teach shit with that jaw up. Ah! You old toasted wheat loaf bread chin line. Oh, float that ass. You get your, you just float that ass out of here. You old pork and beans face ass. I mean, you, get your, like, yeah, you got the nerve to have a title, everybody who engineered the shot. Look, this is the credits. This is the, look at all these Jews and Masons and Jesuits on the look, look at all these Masons' names. They got the credits on here. Got the news to got the nerve to promote the people who made the images. And shit. Look, it's so funny. We just watched a movie. That basically was just Walt Disney. Then they got the credits at the end. Or credits on, that was Walt Disney. I'm saying shit. Lord Jesus Christ. Get this shit off my screen. That's Walt Disney. Got the movie credits and every goddamn thing. Get that, get that shit off my goddamn screen. Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy on our soul. They done got the whole world lost in witchcraft. Star Trek. Now look, I told y'all I got to stop. Now we got to get out of this goddamn shit now. All of that is false. There's no reason why this cat getting be robbing YouTube blind. He got about like 2 million subscribers. Right? Or so, flauntness. You ain't even got to listen to nothing he said. Everything he used in his backdrop is, is debunking himself. I uh, said real shit, goddammit. Look, check this out. We the new Plato. I'm the new Plato. Uh, I'm the new Socrates. I uh, said real shit. I'm the new Amura, bitch. And I'm Harry, so I, I'm actually Amura. Any such thing as Amura squad, lost. I uh, said lost. They they lost at the beginning of their clock. They lost in the 6 a.m. knowledge. 6, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. knowledge. Oh, float out of Oh, float out as hell. Oh, float out as hell. Everybody float out. They don't understand the world is, is a witchcraft that everybody lost in. Y'all trying to claim the old ways. Y'all thought y'all created that. Y'all ain't created none of that witchcraft. Y'all all was slaved out. Oh, Sarah, they get, now they got everybody slaves now. They got the atheist slaves. Yeah, you know, they got everybody believing in big bangs, big lights, and all this front thought ass shit. Real shit. Now, is is it? Shout out to the old chat. Is it any astrophysics in here? Cause I dropped the link, and you and you can and you can state your claim. You know what I'm saying? You can make sense out of that. Cause I can't, and God's children can't, and God can't make no sense out of that. None of that has shit to do with God. I uh, said so they got y'all going to different Hubble universes and telescopes. Is that guy? I don't remember God talking about none of that goddamn shit. Y'all going to hell. Kiss my ass. All y'all going to hell. Real shit. Any astrophysics? Uh, that, that money ain't going to save you. Google scholarship don't save you over here. Not no God knowledge. That None of that works with God's children. 
Well, I'm saying not your telescope, not your Google scholarship, all that is lostness, Luciferian. I'm saying real shit, even your language. I use your language against you. Where you, where you at? And I said, and you know, y'all know they ain't gonna want no smoke though. They don't never want no smoke. They just sit back and watch. And now, now the next, they next videos is always gonna be some damage control type stuff. You know what I'm saying like always damage control. I couldn't, I couldn't suffer any goddamn other goddamn video because goddamn it, these new motherfuckers is flunked out. I was gonna run another goddamn video, but I see how more most is flunked out. And Neil deGrasse ain't talking about stars no more. He talking about some dumbass other shit that don't exist. Shit ain't worth talking about. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So I don't want to look at that shit either. It's stupid. All of it is goddamn stupid. So yeah, we all we'll go about five more minutes, and we'll break down some astrology and shit uh, later on. In this motherfucking shit. But yeah, I just have to break that shit down for y'all in this motherfucking shit to show y'all. If y'all get lost on the internet, don't get all hyped up on people who just got PhDs or people got a lot of views. People who got a lot of subscribers. These people are puppets. And they don't even be knowing what they're talking about. So you have to already believe in something. So when you hear what they're talking about, everything else just bypass you. And and then that's the only way these people could sound intelligent. And that's the only way they can a- attract the world as a system that the shadow government could look at. Like, look at a, a group of assholes based upon how much attention a person get. So they can use him as a puppet to show that these is a group of people that still think in dumb Star Trek ways. And Star Wars ways and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And not understanding that this is their way of controlling the world. Ain't nobody steal nothing. What they doing is how they run the world. Not not you coming up with some shit saying, oh, they, they stole our ancient science. They stole our language. They stole our knowledge. No, they gave you a knowledge and you was just a sheep mind. You know what I'm saying? That, that didn't like how you was being rude in some way, shape, or form. All the way back to the Egyptian days. You know what I'm saying? All the way, all, all the way back to the e- goddamn Egyptian days. Y'all, it's just the, it's the slaves came up with something that the, the rulers already gave them. And the, the slave minds still live in today time and stuff like that. So y'all cry about liberation and respiration because y'all was on the land first. Nobody give a fuck about you being on the land first. If I came and gave y'all some goddamn it astrology, technology, and all kind of esoteric gods and shit, I don't give a fuck how long you've been living on that land first. I'm coming to take shit over, bitch. You ain't got no intellect. So for you to come, so for y'all sheep mind to come up and be like, they stole our ancient technology. You didn't have no ancient technology if somebody came and took over y'all shit. The technology, the hard technology was the niggas who came and took over y'all shit. That was the hard technology. Nobody using y'all weak ass language. If I could come and steal y'all language and and replace it with mine, that mean y'all language was weak as hell. Y'all wasn't doing shit with that shit. I just eradicated that shit. I don't know why y'all be trying to claim these things. Why the people who actually created these words and Jew in the first place made it up as an example. So anytime y'all express yourselves, y'all express what category you in. Y'all don't know. How, y'all don't know how to think for yourselves on any level. On any level, y'all go somewhere and claim just because y'all was on a land first, like that means something. That don't mean shit. You using the, the the new mind that they put you in to copy them to even make that make sense to you, because they went around taking people land. Once upon a time, bitch, it's just like you claim it. It's just like a female. You ain't supposed to worry about everything until you fucking claim it. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like a land. I ain't. I don't need to worry about everybody on the land until I claim it, and that's my land. You know I'm saying you don't get to come 2,000 years later and be like, well, my grandma used to live on that land. And why y'all take my land from me? We 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 deserve the stuff that y'all created on our land. Man, get your get, get to work. Bitch, go cut some grass. <laughs> bitch, bitch, go go build a pyramid. Motherfucker, get your ass on. Go float that ass. I say real shit. Go, bitch, go build a pyramid. I say, oh, get your ass out my face. And, and make sure that the little kids that come out your nut sperm and, and your egg cells thousands of years later, m- make sure they teach the same thing. Make sure they be proud about building pyramids. Make sure they be proud about sweating. I said real shit. Make sure they be proud about y'all. That's that's it. Don't really go no further than that. And y'all run around proud today. Yeah, we built the pyramids. We did that. So trust me, I ain't lifting no finger in any civilization, bitch. I'm coming with the structure mentally. I ain't say I'm lifting my hands. Y'all say real shit. I'll tell you that right now. I'm on that side of mental forms. I said, I, I, I'm, I'm in God's image. I ain't in God's liking. I ain't trying to be like anything. Y'all be like workers. Y'all be like servants. I said real shit. I'm cool with that. 
I'm coming in God's image. I ain't coming in no liking, no werewolf movie vampire liking. I ain't, I ain't coming. Yeah, anybody could be like God. You a demon. Trying to be like God, you trying to be like shit and shit like that, you're a fucking devil. Yeah, anybody who's trying to be like, fuck all, trying to be like Israelites and Jews, fuck all of it. I'm coming in the image, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Read the order for that. Read the order for that. Read the order for that. You know what I'm saying? God need God's children. God don't need no reprobate ass spirits. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to be like something and, and have a hard time doing it. Real shit. Y'all, y'all have a real hard time doing it. Y'all ain't shit. Ah. Uh, real motherfucker shit. Other than that, though, Jay, yeah, you come in the image. You know what I said? When you come in the image, man, they built around you. Because whatever you kicking, y'all about to see the whole world built around my cosmology. Watch. The fusion and friction. They're going to be like, oh, that's what we've been saying. It's about to be like, then they're about to start throwing up other stuff like, like it came out years ago to make it seem like it came. And they, but they've been summoning me for eons, though. You, know, so you can't get away from it. And then we didn't hear you talking about that 10 years ago. And then while all of a sudden it's being presented now, oh, no, 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 we won. God's children won. We won. Y'all took too long. Y'all took too long to make something new. You know, I say y'all took too long, too long to the point that you can't make nothing new. You either got to speak the truth at this point because they just been using shit to rock y'all to sleep. And now that your ass is rocked to sleep and shit like that, you ain't got no goddamn common sense. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they've been rocking us to sleep for a long time with the esoteric golems and the light forms and shit like that. And if and if you go on Google, that's all you're going to see. How they made Star Wars, how they made Star Trek, you know what I'm saying, how they made Space Invaders, you know what I'm saying, how they made He-Man, you know what I'm saying, all, all those cartoons, how they made G.I. Joe, the Fee, Fi, Fo, Fee, Thumb, you know what I'm saying, and Gre- Jolly Green Giant, Jack and the Beanstalk, everything. All of these is like allegories to the foods we eat, our bodies, our, our body parts, the spirituality we go through inside of us when we're trying to control our mind and shit like that as a spirit, not being the goddamn mind and thinking that your spirit is the mind, all kind of flunked out of that shit. But y'all don't be peeping game. This right here is just them filling in what's unseen and creating an allegory story to help you understand it. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a clock. As below, but as above is each water cycle. We got our clock, our water cycle, 24 hours. We got the clock around us, right? We'll call that the Mercury time. We got the other water cycle around us. That's the Venus time. We have the other water cycle around that. That's the uh, Mars time, the water cycle around that, Jupiter. And then we got the uh, water cycle around that, Saturn. And that's and then we're in the water cycle all the way in the middle. So Saturn is the most outer layer of all of us being in one water. This is just one water cycle. See you know what I'm saying? But water got different waves. I told you, the same way stars is created is the same way rivers and seas is created. So we're we're in seven seas. We're sons and daughters of the seas, bitch. What you you thought you was about to go to your your religion or or spirituality and, and think that they wasn't talking about what I'm talking about? Yeah, bitch. That's why they use these words. That's why they the waters above, the waters below. That's why they use these words. The fuck. Oh, shit. And then for the most part, boom. This our water cycle, 24 hours. Then we we make the rays be Mercury. Then the next one is Venus, right? So we'll see when that fusion of friction happened from our distance, we made a hypothetical on when that fusion of friction happens from our perspective based upon calculating when the fusion of friction happened in our perspective with the body of water we're closest to, we're within. The masculine, and we're inside this atmosphere, that'd be the feminine. This water cycle will be masculine because that's that's the one outside of us, but we're inside of it. See what I'm saying? But y'all looking at it like this is a star floating. No, it's just water cycles and whatever light being emitted is the interactions of the water cycles. You get it? So the only way you're able to see a light anyway, because you're with you're inside of a water cycle. So any if you was outside the atmosphere in, in the water cycle that's crashing with our water cycle that we were within that we call stars, right? If you outside of that, you won't see no light crashing and sparking unless you're closer to another body of water. So I'm saying, so we're making hypotheticals based upon, but you're only able to see it if you're in an atmosphere. It's not out there. You get what I'm saying? So for the most part, when you make a hypothetical, you would you would track Venus two houses back uh, because they know that the sun, AKA when our light spark, we experience a transition every two hours. It moving a house. So then this water cycle, we say that that spark is a little slower. So that one arrives at 4 a.m. 
You know what I'm saying? In the house of the 12th house, Pisces. Then you got motherfucking, um, then you got the Mars one. That arise at motherfucking, what, 2 a.m. or whatever the fuck, how they fucking call it and shit like that. All the way to the, uh, you get to it just calculating the water cycle. You know what I'm saying? And Saturn is the highest cycle. You know what I'm saying? We're in. We're in. That's why you're able to create a body. Because all these waters crushing in on themselves with fusion and friction, your mind and your gym is born. You know what I'm saying? So as a spirit, you're just naked. You're no thing. Once you become aware, you create a piece of that water and you create your bubble out of that awareness as your own specific mind. And now that's all of our waters together. Teamwork makes the dream work. And then for the most part, when it when you come down into the cycle from Saturn down to the where we at right now, Malkuth, you crystallize. You, that's your mind condensing, making organs, Malkuth. Your individual earth and your awareness was a piece of part of gold sand or a periodic table. Teamwork makes the dream work. When that manifested as a spirit, we create awareness and then we take pieces of that to make our own mind. That awareness is what we all do as teamwork makes the dream work to create the whole world. And when we take pieces of the one that we gave our piece of the footprints of the sand, that becomes our own mind in that world. And then all that consciousness waters clash, have sex. That's what clashing is. Fusion and friction, imagination, desire, light shift rays. And then when we do that as a spirit, controlling those mental chakras as a cycle that we're going in as an accumulation, we all condense ourselves and create organs out of that. So we are the gem. We are the star. We are, you see what I'm saying? We are the Jedi's. We are the mega man. You know what I'm saying? And all this motherfucking shit. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, uh, I ran on person. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Real shit. So that's basically what it's talking about. That's esoteric astrology. And that's how you know the sun and the moon is just reflections. Uh, the sun is a light that got a minute and a minute and the light that got a minute casts a reflection. And both that light that got a minute and a reflection takes the shape and form of our atmosphere that we inside of. Now I'm saying from top to bottom, left to right, which is we're small. So we experience the transition of it. So we experience that fluid in many different transitions. And we just call it daytime. Nighttime, air, and would it manifest and condense this and cool off to be earth getting and crystallizing out of it? That's that's what a star is. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even know what Phil Valentine was talking about when he said stars is in water. No, stars are water. Your body is made out of whatever the fuck that they call in this shit. This is it. Not no stars be anything in it is the fleshly fluid and shit that's accumulating from it. And shit like that. But the stars is the water itself. The, the See, he might get confused because he still got the Western Hemisphere knowledge based on what he thinks stars is. So since you would think a star is flo something floating out there, and since you would hear somebody like me say everything is water, you would come with a dumb conclusion like stars is inside water. No, the water itself is the star. And with light ain't no star. Light don't have no shape. The fusion and friction of water produces what we call that light that's being emitted. And don't get lost in the light because you would think that's something floating and you would think that's a star and you would think that's something inside water or some flunk that ass shit where that itself get produced from water and that's not the star. It's just light. It's just lostness. It's just us condensing ourselves. It's just us materializing. It's just, that's it. And I said from a mental and a physical, but you the star, it, period itself, the water, the consciousness, your thoughts and feelings. When you clash, when you when you clash a thought, once you make a mind and clash a thought and feeling together, you emit a light and imagination. That's not you. That's just how you see yourself. See what I'm saying? So the spirit create a mind and a mind you as a spirit make these things crash to make things out of them like sex. The joining of two energies, masculine, feminine, man, woman, thought, thought, feeling. And then when you, when, uh, thought, emotion. And then when you crash them together, it produce a child, the image that you like to see yourself. Now that image ain't you, but it's something you strive to be. You, you strive to be that character, those characteristics. And when we do a teamwork makes the dream work, that bends in on itself and become organs that we all can experience similar traits amongst each other with our own individual aspects of doing those similar traits amongst each other. That's real esoteric knowledge. Niggas be getting their shit from books and shit like that and don't even go outside and let God teach them. 
they let a man teach them and then they go have a man's interpretation on how to go outside and look at things. That's wrong. You go outside first and let God show you. Then you would have never came up with no dumbass shit talking about the spirit is the breath. Even if somebody taught you that 2000 years ago and you just dumb, you would have understood that the breath is a form that a spirit can take. And so that I take you into some more God knowledge. It humans must have always been lost, always trying to attach to ourselves, the creators and blame it on something that we created. So every time we experience something that's invisible next, we had called that the res responsible for us. So soon as it was lightning, oh, that's the spirit. Soon as it was breath, oh, that's the spirit. Soon as uh, something else invisible come, oh, that's the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And they always, people always try to call the spirit something, and your spirit is just your space. And I hate to even call it that because space got baggage on it. But it's the closest word that y'all lost in now that represents your spirit. No thing. It's not even something. It's no thing. And the moment you became aware, that's the something. And you're inside of that now as an individual solo spirit being aware of itself. You know what I'm saying? That's a soul. So once you create that awareness, that's your halo. That's your first mind, your first body over your soul. And then therefore that can accumulate and, and become a physical form and going into parents and in, in geographical locations and shit. But without that first form, you don't exist. You're just no thing. But when you create a form, you are aware that you created something because that something is what separates your space from another spirit space, whether it's aware or not doing the same thing. So this lets you know, damn, whatever you are is mysterious and it's not even no thing. And you need that thing you created to even know that you are something. So we hold on to these awarenesses and these awarenesses is what manifests as water and energy. And when we fuck in the mind, it come together as accumulation, density. So where we at spiritually, we create mental forms to relate to each other. And then by default, that accumulate as density. And then we all create similar forms and similar worlds to represent our individual spirits inside of. There is no deeper science. There is no deeper occult. Especially if you're trying to get into that flunked out ass, dumb, Jesuit, Rosicrucian, Masonry and shit. Like y'all always be trying to give people credit they don't need. Y'all think that when you get into their discoveries or something like that, you're discovering something spooky or something like that. It's the most dumbest surface level shit that they're just giving importance to. And since they was allowed to run the world because all y'all sheep and not able to think clear enough, this would allows them to think that it's more important or more intelligent than what it actually is. And it's all stupid shit. It's all, it's all star formation. The moment you know how to live out your life down here, the way the, the stars is lining out and come up with all the mathematical precisions, okay, you're able to write a hieroglyphics and make a language and number system. And anything after that is sheep-minded. All, all these other people in these denominations, all these other people say, all in, in Oz, you know, in this Bible scripture, it this number leads to 27. If, if you don't even understand the starting point, stop going around teaching people dumb shit because you in Oz, because you don't understand how a person could create a literature and a civilization. Like you stupid, it's like it's very simple once you understand as above, so below. So when you get these later texts, a lot of these later texts uh, prevent you from learning the things that they built these texts on. Like a lot of these texts is built on as above, so below correspondences, astronomy and astrology and different terminologies for people to understand it in the best way that they can have a sheet minded. A lot of people that came after the fact, right, and used it since people don't want to use their own mind and still be fools. And you could put a million dollars in someone's lap just for them to still be stupid. Then they started to make put put things in Bibles with the Jewish witchcraft. Like, yeah, don't don't get into astrology. Don't get in necromancy. Right. Because these are the things that they built that on. The whole book is built on summoning the dead, uh, knowing each specific week, time, and day, which became holy days and shit like that and holidays because they was deifying different transitions of the sun and moon and, and calling it the spirit of something since they came up with the intellectual property to run the world. And whatever they came up with, this is what the whole sheep mind is ran by right now. And, since they, and when they don't like how the rulers is running them, they take their language and their meanings and come up with denominations and shit and dumbass shit that they'll never even get no liberation out of. But at the same time, that's what the shadow government do to run the world, not, no, not them stealing something. They came up with that whole concept. So it's like dropping a flag. Everywhere you see a pyramid, that's like X marks the spot. That that rulership mentality been there. Not no two countries 
being very separate and coming up with their own, coming up with similar ideas and, and and just so happened that civilization got a flag and that civilization got a flag. no somebody sat back and said this is how we need to do things and they came up with the concept of flag before there was any war over flags or over any land this is a concept of a rulership that motherfuckers is upholding based on oral tradition and if you don't understand oral tradition it's because you got a bias you're either lost within a religion entertainment, education, business, or politics. So your bias wouldn't allow you to even see things from a perspective of a person who run a large corporation, which is countries and things of that nature. You only you only know what the knowledge has been given to you and based on how they taught you what it means to learn, what it means to understand curriculum, what it means to be intellectual. So when they provide that to you, it's still within the limits and the basis of their mind frame of how they built the nation. So you don't have no outside thought on how to perceive what's actually going on around you. You only know how to utilize the things that you complain about and find things in it as aspects to figure out that this is what we need to be helped. And for the most part, all of that is made up. If you understand the occult mind of an individual that run the whole world from individuals, you know what I'm saying? And and that's what that's why religious people can't never see the truth because they're so rooted in just one of the biases, the religious aspect. So based upon what they was taught in that aspect. They're so lost and rooted in that. They're not even able to see witchcraft being practiced on them while saying someone else is possessed. They're not even able to see how they're possessed, right? For example, just for the sake of someone creating a language with a word for me and you could know what we're talking about once we say it, that's a possession. So when you take that to a spiritual perspective, this is how you could possess a person's soul where you give them not only terms and agreements we can do as far as language physically, but also give them allegories from a masonry concept. That's how you know it got mason practice in it. Where I could give a frame of thought from a physical representation on how it can harm you mentally, right? And this put people on guilt trips and shit. This is what the Jews used to do to the old rulers and shit to drive them crazy for them to kill themselves like Pontius Pilate and shit. Jewish was a, uh, uh, Jesus was a golem, a, a, a grimoire. You see what I'm saying? Not a person. So for the most part, when you're into it in that aspect and stuff like that, right, you could set a person on a path so they end up being possessed. And if you are the more superior spirit, spirit, you can make them believe whatever path you set them on. And the more you can make them believe it, the more that they're willing to die or cast stones or separate from their own family and things of that nature to get that done. And then that's what that lets you know that it's demonic. At that point, you see what I'm saying? And this is this is what a lot of times that people be wrapped up in. So it could become very demonic and things where you're possessed based upon a word or you're possessed based upon an energy in some way where you're not yourself. And when you're not yourself, this is when you end up coming across as possessed. Now, a religious person may sit there and say that I am myself, but when they're expressing it, they're coming in the name of something else. They're trying to prove something to somebody else. They're trying. So this is a person that's possessed and they're using possessed tactics like words, logic to throw someone else under a spell, a.k.a. belief. So that person can live in the way that this individual narcissistic, egotistical, religious ass person, theologian mind can feel good about themselves like they're doing something for their Lucifer or their devil that that love being called God. And it don't go no further than that. It's not like actually anything that they're spewing have anything to do with actual God or existence. So keep that in mind also. And this is why they're going to hell. And their reasons to judge me or judge anyone else is a figment of their own imagination that have been developed from a group of Masons and Jesuits who created the concept of deifying and giving titles to mind forms. And Plato and them understood that. But religious people uh, argue against Plato and shit like that and think that people before Plato was talking about something different. So it's like retarded. It's just a person so lost in a bias, they're in a mental hell. And that mental hell going to manifest physically, but you chose to go there your goddamn self. So y'all got to peep game. The whole world is goddamn lost. Don't listen to nobody talk about going back to damn no Kemet, no Pan-African shit. That's people who are trying to tell you to go back to slavery. You know what I'm saying Egypt means slavery. So the Mesopotamians came over the waters and gave them deities to worship from fire, water, air, and earth. Now, Egyptian turned into polytheism because e the Egyptian land was built off polytheism. 
but they did not originate polytheism. You could argue all you want that polytheism was everywhere. You sound like a Christian, just like anybody else to me, that two countries could be in different locate or two groups of people could be in different locations, but we just somehow come up with the same idea. That's bullshit. You got the religious mind. You just think you don't. <clears throat> if, if a motherfucker created a system and you see that in other areas, the motherfuckers who created that shit brought that to the other areas. That's that's why motherfuckers complaining about invasion all the time, because y'all didn't only get invaded physically. Y'all got invaded spiritually. And y'all somewhere trying to claim when y'all first got invaded, like when y'all got invaded, y'all had power. Y'all didn't have power. You got invaded spiritually. And then y'all took their gods and claimed that these gods need to help y'all more or some shit like that. Now it's like stupid. Because that's basically what you hear when you come out of person that worship Egypt or Kemet. Or some shit like that. That's basically what they saying. And shit like, oh, we was the gods back then. And, and we was this, that, and third. Somebody gave y'all that knowledge to talk about that because y'all was slaves. Y'all y'all was somewhere in the huts running because y'all didn't want to get killed or something like that. And y'all was tired of being slaves. So y'all came up with dumb ass shit like, I'm going to throw a spell on you. Or some shit like that. Bitch, that don't work for you. That worked for us if we can't create the hieroglyphics and shit. And, and, and the, the, the cult, the cult, or whatever the fuck they call that in the uh, Mesopotamian and shit. Bitch, if, if I came and rule the world with signs and symbols and you don't like how we rule it, you're going to take our language and shit like that and pray to these things in your own way and create your own little denomination names. And then y'all and then y'all going and then y'all so sheet and weak spiritually, y'all going to make up some shit to do with some shit we gave y'all that we created. Y'all going to make up some shit that it can do something for y'all that it can't do. So this was the creation of voodoo and voodoo. And hex, and I'm going to throw a curse. Y'all, like, y'all ever seen a Hebrew Israelite on a corner or something like that? And they be trying to throw curses on people and shit like that? Man, that's a sheep mine. That's people who got rude way back in Egypt. And, and since they ain't got no power by the people who gave them a language and told them to build the pyramids and shit like that, the motherfuckers who started to become the Malcolm X's back then was like, oh, we, oh, I think that God should be this, that, and the third. Oh, Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so the best, the best they can do with the power was say, "Well, I'm gonna throw a curse on you, and that God you claim we all worship is gonna make sure you die." And I'm gonna throw it. That, that's the that's the best the weak ass spirits can do. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't like we can prove any of this shit in, 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 in the day's time, bitch. The old slave minded ass bitch. That's the best they can do, though. Oh, I'm going to throw a curse on you. You're going to die. That's the, that's the best you can use they gods to work for you for. And y'all do that in today's time. You can see everybody do that in today's time. Y'all all, y'all all come from the slave minds that they that they brought y'all up under. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still do it. When your, gra when your grandma needs you to do something, but she know that you don't really respect her, she'll use Jesus real quick. Well, well, Jesus told me in my dream that this, that, and the third, all of it was a, a, a way of convincing you to be guilty and listen to the slave at the moment. Listen to the sheep mind that ain't getting nothing from the, the government at the moment, the gods at the moment. And I said, I, I said, I don't really go no further than that. They, they got y'all trained with the same mind. Y'all be looking at it like it's a history book. They looking at it like a, it's a witchcraft book. These words means thoughts and feelings that leads to outcomes. And when we see people expressing these things, just dumb as hell wandering around they just low-hanging fruit you know what i'm saying so that's how they look at it they don't look at it like y'all they don't look at black white and all that shit as race they look at that like natures and shit like that so you could be white and act black to them to them is because you act extra emotional you too much in your right brain chakras and if you act white you too much in your left brain chakras it ain't got nothing to do with race so you could be a, a you could be a, a a brown person, an Indian, a black person, and the moment you start talking extremely logical, you might have somebody around you say you ain't got no slang, you ain't got no swag, or you sound white, and they just trained y'all brains in that. But behind closed doors, the shadow government not even looking at that as race. They that whole context is a cult. When you when you think about crystals and gems and and light magic, white magic, dark magic, black magic, these are something that we practice before we call it animals beasts before we call the actual sky the sky we was calling our things inside of us heavens and locations and objects like it started there first you could have been the most whitest priest in the world but been but been a shadow priest 
be a black priest. Uh, uh, some flumped that ass Kemet follower will, will read a text in today's time and be like, see, priests back in the days was black people. Bitch, you Western hemisphere out. A black priest is a person who know how to deal with Lord desires. So anytime you go to any priest, no matter what they are, you go to your Catholic church and go talk to the goddamn, uh, 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 what's the dude, the, not the priest, but the other motherfucker, uh, that be on the, the little window and you can go talk to him and shit like that. Nine times out of 10, you only talking to him because you think he can help you out of some low ass flunked out emotion, some Hebrew emotion, Hebrew, he below the horizon, you know what I'm saying? So for the most part, it's the Passover when things go to 6 PM or when things go to fall and motherfucker, uh, winter as above, but as below, anytime you in your lower horizon, your lower right brain chakras, you can't get out your flunked out as emotions because you sheep minded. Know what I'm saying, so that's what it means when you a Hebrew Israelite. Israelite just means, uh, the, being born up under the sun and the moonlight. You know what I'm saying ISIS, the moon, raw, the sun lights. They thought they was lights. So when you was born over there, that's what they was calling humans, Israelites. Then they had the ones who was given the rightful thoughts and or whatever like that and shit. So the Hebrews who didn't know how to think like that, they became Hebrew Israelites. Motherfuckers who was flunked out under their desires, up under the holy desires, uh, up under the temple, a.k.a. Africa as an allegory to what we was calling it our temple first, our head space. Jerusalem, we was calling our heart space first. Sheol, we was calling our dick and pussy space first. So any allegory you hear about Abraham bosom or whatever like that, it's just a whole bunch of spirits that's lost in their lower desires or they Gentiles or some shit, aka becoming the cells that we built to become dicks and pussies. When you become the cells that become the heart, this when you talk about the Bible in the, in the Bible spots of the heart space, the house of the Lord or, or other fucking shit and things of that nature. And when you talk about the, uh, the king of Israel, uh, Israel or Jacob becoming Israel or things of that nature, you're talking about the chakras that we create that bend in and become the blood cells and the organs of the brain and the pineal gland and other motherfucking things of that nature. That's the as above, so below context. So it's a clock. Your clock as the man microosm is you got 6 a.m. This right here. So this is where you give birth to an idea because it's, it's, it's on the east of your heart space. So it has to be something you care about. And it's going to be on your universal thought, Mercury, right? So it's going to be something you analyze about. So it's all, almost going to be attached to a Venus, your morning light, your Lucifer, right? So before 6 a.m., you give a rise to that. Then it becomes the fusion and friction of an imagination of what you want to express to the world. So it's like you waking up as below, but as above, you get ready to manifest an idea or creative aspect. Now, when you take that six as above, so below, it's the same as the clock. As you take your six, and the, but this is the equilibrium that I'm speaking about right now. The correspondence is as below your body area, as above the way that the stars, and then the sun, how they calculated the, the, the transition, and then the equilibrium, how, is, how it relates to you spiritually. You always got to bring it to a three. When you create an idea, you create that sun right here on the east, right? Now, it's 6 a.m. in the morning right there for your idea, no matter what time externally, but this is how we make an allegory to what we're representing to if we do it the right time. Deep occult knowledge. Now look, boom. Then once you give a rise to that, right? You want to develop more ideas, make that smear, make that make that more bright. So as a spirit, you inside of it, giving it many ideas to make that mind more brighter, make that womb more bigger, that woman, that mason, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Now that light, once it get illuminated, right? You're you're putting it up in time. Now this is your twelve p.m. This is your cancer. So this is like Nora's arc right here from the heart space. Now once you rise it up here. That's your first spectrum of your you. So that's your imagination that you're getting ready to express from your crown chakra, a.k.a. In, or your throat chakra, intellectual wise, for people to know where you're coming from. Now, if you got heavy density thoughts, your Noah's Ark is weak. All your beasts, the men and women, each thought and feeling of all your lower desires is too heavy. If their light is going to be bright, it's going to whatever you express look like it has potential if it's an idea. So that's your first part to your horizon from your 6 a.m. to your 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Aries to Cancer. So anytime you get too lost into the external world and you developed an idea and it didn't quite rise all the weights that you can calculate it to express it. Anytime you come around back to it, you find yourself having to look like this to remember what you was thinking about. Like you find yourself always having to do this or always because you're looking at it before it, you already gave birth to it and you already pondered on it a little bit for it to be right here, but you haven't get, got the comfortability thoughts and feelings and women and Solomon, millions of females and thoughts and allegories to it for it to fully rise up here so you can feel comfortable with expressing it to others. So every now and then you, you start to conversate with someone and then you get reminded that, oh yeah, this is what my mind was on. You, you will look where that's at. It's still floating there. It ain't get all the way to 12 p.m. yet. It's still floating somewhere past between 6 a.m. And, 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 and 10 p.m. 
I mean, I mean, 10 a.m., 6, uh, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. before 12 p.m. See what I'm saying? Because 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. is Aries hours. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is Taurus hours. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. is Gemini hours. And then 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. is Cancer hours. So I'm saying so with the a.m.s and then you got the moon mansions, right? Because it's the ass below. You got the moon mansions. It go to every sign, too. So once you get all the way at 24 hours, that's 12 houses. Aries through Pisces. But then you got the moon matches, the minutes, the seconds, the many females, right? So 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., right, is uh, motherfucking Aries transition for the sun, tracking Horus. But let's say 8 a.m., I mean 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. is still in Aries, but then you got the moon cycles, the minutes and the seconds, right? So from 6 a.m. to 6.10, that's sun and Aries, but the moon. The moon tracked the minutes in a second. The moon in Aries. From 8.10 to 8.20, moon in Taurus. Sun still in Aries. From 8, from 8.20 to 8.30, right, that a.m., that's the moon being in Gemini. 8.30, 8.40, moon in uh, Cancer. 8.40, 8.50, moon in goddamn uh, Leo. 8, uh, 8.50, 8.60, uh, I mean, 8.50 to 7 a.m. in the morning. That's the moon being in goddamn it, uh, Virgo, right? Now, and the sun is moving on to the second hour of still being in Aries. Then 7 a.m. to 7.10, that's the moon being in Libra, sun in Aries. Sit, uh, uh, 7, uh, 10 to 7.20, that's the moon being in Scorpio. 7.20 to 7.30, Sagittarius. 7.40 to 7.50, Capricorn. 7.50 to, uh, um, to motherfucking, um, oh, shit, did I miss one? Yeah, 7.10, 7 a.m. to 7.10, Libra. 7.10 to 7.20, Scorpio. There we go. 7.20 to 7.30, Sag. 7.30 to 7.40, Capricorn. 7.40 to 7.50 a.m., uh, Aquarius. And 7.50 a.m. to 8 a.m., right? Pisces. And now 8 a.m. now, sun is in Taurus. And then the moon cycle, minutes and seconds, start all over again, back in Aries. You see what I'm saying? So that's how they made the military clock and our clock for us to know the time of the day, for them to t give a Bible to you and tell you, God, you wouldn't know the time of the day so they can rule you and for you could go tell everybody, oh, we don't know the time of the day and they can play God and give you the time of the day. And now you got a birthday, a holiday, a calendar, a day you get up and celebrate a, a, and then you make allegories of why you can still celebrate holidays, but you religious. You ain't shit. You don't know what you lost in because you don't know nothing. And a lot of these religious people, how you religious if you went to one religion? You just a demon. If you're religious, you have to be in all, all the religions as a study, not as a belief. So you don't believe in nothing. You just believe all these things. You could believe that someone could believe in something. That's a different type of knowledge going on right there. It, it ain't attaching. It ain't attaching to you, though. A lot of these Christians and shit, they don't know nothing else but about Christianity. And they be sitting there, they be sitting there trying to debate Hebrews and Israelites and Muslims and and and, and Unitarians. It sounds stupid as fuck. It sound dumber than them. Know what I'm saying? Where, fuck your God, we need to get into the context of monotheism and polytheism and who sat back and created that concept of why it's even seen that way in the first place. We need to talk about that. That's why a lot of y'all going to hell. Because y'all don't even talk about the simple shit. Y'all just follow anything and think that you could piggyback on it and add your own belief to it. Or with me, no such thing as laws or denominations. That's it. All y'all are demons that cling on to a grouping if it all can cater to y'all lies that y'all lie to each other about and desires and building the world and going to heaven and shit. Like y'all just lost. I really don't go no further than that. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why I was supposed to, I was supposed to shut my ass up so I get prepared for some astrology tonight and shit like that. So I could chop it up with y'all. <coughs> Do that for later so I can chop it up with y'all right now in this motherfucker. Oh, shit. But I'll finish this with y'all. But, Jay, that lets you know it's flunked out. And ain't none of these motherfuckers going to come in here and try to give me no smoke because they know that they got to research a little more. And they research and don't work. You know what I'm saying? You can research all you want. Once I see what moral system you in, that's all, that's all I need as research. You know what I'm saying? Because I already know who created your intellectual property. And I'll be able to teach what you're what you trying to teach even better than you. And it's motherfucking shit. Just like you got dumbass people out here talking about, uh, oh, yeah, you cursed. 
I'm a curse you and this, that, and that. Man, you got that from a slave mind. That's that. That's the best you thought at that time the people who gave you a language and their gods can do for you. You know what I'm saying? The cast stones with words and shit like that and you cast curses and shit like that. It, it ain't like you can go do that to anybody who in real power and they just start listening to you. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, that's that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Get off these goddamn street corners if, if you got magic like that. And that's how these dumbass Christians think they are too. They make up all the excuses in the world of why other people in the world is not believing. Bitch, if you was following any real God, God would give you the right knowledge like God give you real. You will be able to change business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics and be able to come in so many different ways that it would make it be possible. Y'all just biased, reprobate ass spirits with a goddamn it uncircumcised frontal lobes that just want to argue. You don't want to do nothing else but argue. You're going to die wanting to argue. You're, you're not doing nothing in the world. So that ain't no God. God give people strength and power. Even the motherfucker you claim you following with Jesus. Lisa made that motherfucker give strength and power down here. Y'all just want to argue and be in reprobate demonic ass spirits. You know what I'm saying? Dehydrated ass spirits and shit like that. Thirsty as hell. Spiritual crackheads. Real shit. It's spiritual. And then they think they smart by saying as he as he hits his blunt. This is what makes them smile and the people that's dumb mentally around them to make them think what form of sarcasm that the Jesuits intellect gave them to make them think that this is what makes them funny and still can look down on people. It's all stupid. None of it going to manifest into you being in real life, doing some shit like sad guru or some shit where a person can make it justified that God is talking to them. I'm saying none of y'all can do that. All y'all can use, only thing you can do is use Lucifer logic, sarcasm into some weak ass shit that's unmoral, really. And then in some way, shape, or form, just use it for fucking dumbass debates. You ain't shit. And God's children can smoke and still teach you that, bitch. Now, I said, so it really don't even go no further than that. It really don't, it really don't go no further than that. It really don't go further than that. So a lot of these individuals got to stop wasting their goddamn time just wanting to goddamn argue. These theologians utilizing apologetics, that's not going to prove nobody nothing that everybody is experiencing for themselves spiritually. You need to just stop, stop being a fucking demon. Or I drop that link and you're going to tell me something I don't know. Matter of fact, let me, let me, because this is almost done. You got five seconds. You got five seconds that I'm going back to God and come to talking about some shit the soul group want to talk about for later. You know what I'm saying? Boom, that's the motherfucking link right there. Any discrepancies, hit the link. Got three minutes left. That's what I'm saying, real shit. Don't get scared. Test your knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You got to test your knowledge. You got to test your knowledge. You know what I'm saying? All y'all got to come through God's children. Whatever everybody kicking in the world, you got to come through God's children for that to be respected. God's children don't got to come through you because of your form of likes or whatever, like all, all that's demonic. You know what I'm saying that ain't none of that transition and shit. All y'all gotta come through God's children if your knowledge wanna be respected. Period. Other than that, all y'all going to hell. Kiss my ass. Real shit from from the most respected Jew, Mason, Jesuit, conscious community, a uh, uh, New Ager, true seeker, don't matter. Going to hell. All y'all still from the shadow government. Show your face. You got to show your face. Uh, as far as the uh, the times of the day and whatnot, I was actually contemplating on it a little bit earlier. Depending on what time of the day it is, like you get, as far as energetically speaking, you stop, might. Stop, on what stop. What's going on? Hold on. All right. Hold on. You, you talking to somebody else or you talking to me? No, I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. What happened? Yeah, so say for it, like it's it'd be times of the day, certain times of the day where I might get like energetic like spikes, and then I might get energetic like lows. You feel me? So depending on what time of the day you were born or whatever time it is, uh, you know, as far as what's going on now, it control does does it control your energy or like how you interact with inside or you know around you? Well, yeah, I would say because I I was born <clears throat> I was born April six, so. I, pretty much the, the way the water was interacting with itself that's our consciousness so that's the kind of way i'm gonna perceive the world so that's the kind of actions i'm gonna participate in the virtues and the consciousness that's going on at that time even the things we can't observe there's a lot of things in water when we're not observing this is our mind so when we learn how to observe our mind we know how to track that 
So I know there's certain water waves consciousness. I'm mm -hmm. acting out that a person that, that, that wasn't born the same time I was born, uh, it ain't seeing from that perspective. So okay. when, the, when the water plan out for them and they make their little water cycle, they see what we all in different and they act that way out too. And like you could see that clear, like be, beyond astrology, beyond yeah. anything, like we, we can see different times. And even when it comes to twins, how it's a clearly still, it's a different way the water is moving because that's what our brain is. Mm. Don't, don't listen to nobody talk about our brains as computers and all that. Your brain is a water tube. So your brain is technically tissue that got manifested from water and it condenses us continuously making water that condense into blood cycles and water fluid and other things of that nature consciousness so it's like a it's like a falupalum tube it's like a whole bunch of knots but if they really water tubes and you got that's your consciousness developments that and that that's how we make our tissue that's cool. and, and any scientists need to start studying it like that if they not they're real behind in knowledge i need to, i need my nobel peace prize so that would explain why, say, for instance, every day at one o'clock or two o'clock or something like that, you might get a burst of energy. And most people might put it yeah. off on diet or some sort like diet or uh, whatever you're doing at the time. But really, if you if you track whatever time of the day it is and, and really, you know, hold it up to how you feel and you will be able to. OK, right, right, all. right. All the way down to even foods, because we made our body out of the same shit. So it's the, even it's certain times of the day. That if you was to eat at that time of the day, it's better to eat at that time of the day than another time of the day. Because your the way your body reacting in ways that we're unaware of, we created the process of breaking down in that time of the day way more than our organs that we made in that other time of the day. So you you might eat more at a certain time of the day, and this is why you could get fatter than somebody real fast. Or this is why you get, you know what I'm saying, where that's, it ain't really had nothing to do with exercising. It's just that person eating habits part was better, a.k.a. purely the time of the day type shit. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. That's uh, next, shit. next time I hop on this motherfucker, bro, I'm on you. I'm, I'm gonna show my face. So this ain't that type oh, no, of. No, you party. ain't gotta show your face. I just thought you was a troll, but I'm familiar oh. with your name now, and I, I think I, re I think I remember you. Yeah, we be having a good conversation. So I'm gonna make sure my next live stream that I do open for everybody is just open for everybody, so we can have conversations like this. Hey, right? I'm gonna. Hey, I ain't no, you know, I ain't no coward. I show my face. So, but also, I'm. A, I wanted your email because I'm gonna email you. I want to link up with you, or at least, you know, I want to support what you push. So, you know, right. if you could drop that, yeah, drop that email one more time for me. And uh, like right. I say, next time I'm gonna show my face, buddy. All right, yeah, Archangel Uriel 108 at gmail.com. Hold on one second. All right, Angel Uriel. One, you say what was the numbers? 108. At gmail. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Yep. Take it easy. Real shit, real shit. Yo, yo. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. What's, going on? What's good, though, man? Yeah, yeah. I agree with everything that you said 100%. Like, you're saying the facts type shit. I have one question type shit. So, on the Monad on the back, right? I was going in on the seven lines, how you were saying with Mercury, Venus, you know what I mean? I work in Malakou, Mars, all that. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking like, so with every specific line, so is Mercury like a, a masculine planet? It's an air, it's like an air, it's like, it's us but checking like the on air. The, but, We're but trying to observe like, the air beyond our atmosphere. So it's like an air, uh, if you want to call it a planet, but it's more correlated to like the air. Uh, so you could say masculine, yeah, because it's external, it's outside of us. Okay, so like, I was thinking on that type of tip. So I was thinking, okay, so if Mercury is on a masculine type of note, Venus would be on, on feminine, right? It'd be on the feminine type of law on, on the second well, line. Well well, when we talk about masculine and feminine, these are things we're deriving based on a cycle. So even Mercury cycle itself, it has a masculine and a feminine side, which is a daytime and a nighttime side. So let's for an example, we have a daytime and we have a nighttime. So the nighttime will be our feminine cycle and the daytime will be our masculine cycle, basically. So that's so that's why the sun and the moon. It's only ruled by Leo and Cancer because these are only the lights that's getting emitted and reflected based on our position and things of that nature. Oh, so that's okay, the only okay. fixated place. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. That's all I wanted to ask type shit because I was thinking I was thinking on the lines and stuff like that, just like with the numbers and shit like that. I was trying to add all that type of stuff in as far as just like with the masculine and feminine, but it's both sides type shit. So I, I know what you mean too. Yeah, yeah. Shout out G G three baller. Oh shit, my bad. Huh? I'm gonna get these people out before I get up out of here. What's going on? Yes. All right. So, what was your discrepancy? Hey, how's it going, man? Um, 
couple of weeks ago, I asked about Vedic astrology, and you uh, you you laid uh, everything out for me about Vedic astrology. I was wondering um, what um, what what you might have to say about astro theology. Astro theology. Oh, that that's of... that's one of the first religions too. Okay. Like they, they made it up. So that this is basically astro theology, when you can make an allegory around the actual water cycles, and then make up stories about the conscious events that we think about inside of us when we experience in these seasonal transitions and come up with allegories and drawings about like men and thoughts, but it's really us trying to understand our mind and relate it to that in some way. And then make so it, you, a, uh, make it a clock. Humanize, uh, deify, uh, mythologize. Yeah. Position. Kind of so they, they went as far as deifying positions all the way to a week is a deification, a day degree. A demon, that's a deification. Like so that like they trying to say each day, each second is a different deity, and and they get uh and that's how we got to astrology. So it's like they're making an allegory out of something that's unseen, so we can see it from our perspective. And NASA got deep with it with satellites and shit. So they're trying to make actual constellations up there and throw a thing up there to track the cycle of Mercury and throw a satellite okay. up there to track Venus and shit. Okay, so then what would be I guess like the source of that or what would be the if 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 if, if working with astro theology is essentially demonic, then what would be I, I didn't say it was demonic. I said it was created on the base of helping people understand cycles. Okay. So it, so, it, it can become demonic if if people don't understand it. Okay. Like do you work with astro theology or is that just the basis of what you would describe as what astrology kind of is yeah i don't do astro theology okay I, I, don't, I don't come up with narratives like these things is actually existing and stuff like that i just speak about it as far as our natures knowing that the, it's, oh, yeah. it's that, see that's how i understand it because it's uh they like they deify it and storyify it and myth mythologize these bodies in the sky but I look at it more so as like, well, these bodies in the sky, you know, Mercury retrograde governs co communication or Mercury or like Gemini rules the arms or like different associations between what is governed in life as above, so below in the body. That's how yeah. I look at it first. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's what these things are first. Then it's whatever okay. they try to throw up as satellites up there. We're calling things in our body and, and how we're relating to things first to us. Then we started throwing. That's why a lot of these planets is named after people because the planets that uh, is satellites that they threw up there just to track the cycle. Okay. And, that's how and then get, like, essentially. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. that's, that's how they essentially like uh deify ancestors or whatever and siphon the yeah. energy from people worshiping, whatever, whatever their bloodlines. Right. So, so the average okay. astrologer don't know what they're doing, but they're really doing what the Bible be talking about as wrong. When you have an astrologer come up here and start to say, well, in history here, this happened because this star and then Galileo and then the people who knew about astrology. Once they start talking like that and stuff like that, they're they're just they're lost in Jesuit intellect or whatever. Yeah, like no, because I, I know it as like Jesus is hail Zeus, but it's really a whole nother saint. And then really what you're talking about is the sun. Like it's a cipher. Right. Right, pretty much. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that I'm like on the right track and following you correctly. And the way I use this astro theology isn't uh, lost. <laughs> oh yeah, real shit. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh yeah, shout out, shout out, it's a cute, real shit. But uh, yeah, so that that's basically this is basically the first form of religion not not for people to think it's gods out there and stuff like that no the, the group of men and women who came up with the concept of anthropomorphizing the cycles in us we started to relate that as above but we didn't actually see these things as above we were only seeing the, the light that get emitted and a reflection of it and then our first idea was thinking that these things was floating things on their own or the or the concept of astrology wouldn't even be explained in the context that it is, and things moving to the right, or the Bible wouldn't be explained in the context that it is. These things being luminaries and stuff. So these are inventions coming out of people's mind, and they're upholding that oral tradition because that's how they first created a civilization to run the world to create the concept what it is in the first place as the copope or the, or whatever the fuck you call what Mesotapius was doing as a form of hieroglyphics. And therefore, it's just a correspondence as above, so below. So below, we utilize objects as uh 
Masonic thinking at the, before it was called Masonic thinking, but creating an anthropomorphic or a concept of what we can see to things we can't see or can't observe. And therefore, this would come up with calling it deifying and gods and all this dumbass, stupid shit. And then now we got technology where we're actually to throw, we're, we're actually able to throw things up there. So we'll throw one satellite up there in that first that first cycle. That's how we track Mercury and make computer things to let you know where Mercury is at. Then we thought of what? Because I went out there and learned these things for myself. That's how I even knew that. Damn, there were slight ways I was lost being an astrologer before I went out there and learned the transition myself. That I might have thought I was intelligent and still talking rhetoric. That could still slightly make sense because it's still consciousness. But I'm pointing to things that the shadow government have threw up there in their way of tracking it and in their way of trying to teach it to others. And I had, I'm I'm Uriel. I, I'm not allowed to be into any of that if I'm going to be down here. You know what I'm saying? So it was inevitable, be, inevitable for me to come up with the idea to went out, the, went out there to learn what do Saturn and me myself. And it's just the tracking of a sun doing a full cycle and, and, and how, they, how you piggyback that from it being a monad, Kabbalah tree, cycles and all of these just being representations of just that and then them creating stories for themselves that these type of events that we are experiencing is happening out there somewhere and that turns into whoever created that concept the sheep minded be having to go through them to know what whatever these people ideas coming up with and gods and shit want these people to do and that's when it very separates at that time before we started to call it these terms god or before we started to call it these terms philosophy and all this other form that ass shit we're just interacting with each other as humanity and once you understand just the simple amount of actions that the common human would take for the most part regardless of what we're using now as language and the meanings behind it you're able to track the morality and the spirituality out of it and things of that nature and travel to a lot of these locations to actually know what events took place because it wouldn't be no other way it'd be that kind of outcome and that's when you have true speculative energies. You are a true adeptus, not some flunked out ass shit where you lost in Galilea and your only form of thinking you're intellectual and teaching others is a form of what you have been taught about these fucking things. You, but these people that you are learning from actually doing what I'm doing. So every time I see in the world, motherfuckers not grouping up like how we used to do back in Greek times and things of that nature, when we're fighting with knowledge, intellect coming to the most clearest perspective and we're respecting that form. And it's just a whole bunch of people with biasness and they're in their own ego and they're willing to utilize Galileo or the government in their form of lostness as a form to go against people that look just like them, not even just race wise, doing the same thing that they're doing. Even when it's an angel like me here, that's making it clear in any perspective, every word, any I don't give a fuck, even if it sound ego in this aspect, because I don't even promote it like this, but it's, this should still, still be respected. I should be the only rapper or singer everybody in the conscious community is promoting. My aspect on light should be the only thing everybody in the conscious community or anything promoting. I should be the only astrologer. Anybody that look like me watch and any I should I shouldn't be going on people's channels that's into astrology and they getting ready to tell me what sad guru talking about or some other flunked out ass person that that shows me what this person respect and how they look at me already and I know I'm Uriel and I know this person they smarter than me you know what I'm saying and that alone would make a person rather promote someone else because I'm in the same energy that they in I, I come just like the demon I come just like your ego. And that's how God children come to get motherfuckers out of their goddamn ego. Because I'm, I'm going to stand corrected. You ain't going to never hear no shit I said. Yet it's, it's staying corrected. And it's motherfucker shit. So motherfuckers have to look at that. Period. The moment, mother, the moment we ain't in no situation where we doing the same thing the Jews did. And we glorying in our egos. Because I don't, I don't give a fuck. I have to come to y'all like that. If you in any form of business, entertainment, education, religion, politics, NOI, New Age, uh, Kim, it new up. Uh, you retarded. You need to get out of that shit right now, so we can start fighting the bite, the battle. How they all together on something to have y'all all lost on thinking the sun is some floating melanin ball in the first place. Y'all retarded. But you get ready to use that floating floating melanin ball as an aspect to get back on my goddamn channel to go against some shit that only only thing I'm doing. I ain't teaching you or telling you or trying to get you out of your mind or nothing. I'm just reminding you of what you already know and what you already supposed to be doing. Don't take that energy as an ego itself because I'm the first person to come down here and do that and then use Galilea to come against me 
that think you smarter than me still doing my energy in the first place. And you just mad to yourself that you can't get out of that aspect of it. But I'm God's child. You got to understand that. You got to get out of that ego. And if y'all trying to come here on one, what the fuck else? Or you just going to keep thinking the sun is a floating helium ball, but I can't listen to you tell me why space around it is below zero. So I'm about, you about to be just like abducted because you about to tell me, well, they, I read this in this book because this reason why it's below zero and this, that, and that, there, and this a flaming helium ball. And you know, so God damn it, you just a demon to me. You're a fucking weak ass human. But I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart. God damn it. I see y'all motherfucker later on tonight. Let me go chop it up with y'all and shit. Charge my goddamn phones in this motherfucker shit. Uh, uh, do, uh, go correlate some goddamn business in this motherfucker shit. And I love all y'all from the motherfucker bottom of my heart. And we're going to change the world. One step, one mind, one, uh, out of the goddamn time. Eee, no order for that. 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 No order for that.